Hi, Marco. Um, obviously, the perfect start to the year with that win. Um, how happy with you with the performance out there? Uh, performance result, yeah, very happy. Um, it's always good as a, as, a, as a coach when you work on things and they and they come off tactically all, all fantastic. And um, just obviously the attacking performance today really stood out. What, were there any um, tactical changes you made in training during the week to kind of get that free-flowing football going or was it just one of those things where it just all finally clicked? No, there was there was quite a bit. Um, and it's not for me to really go into it. It's, it's for other people to see it and understand it. But um, if you saw the, the, the starting team and the positions they were in it right from the outset, you would have seen that that's different to what we've done so far this season. And it worked a treat as far as I was concerned. So without going into too much detail and talking too much about the opposition, um, it was a focus on us, about designing a, a plan that can be executed, that can be applied, understood by the players, and um, and they did that today. And uh, Oli Bazanich, a second goal in two games, you've been impressed with his performances since he came back from injury? Yeah, Oli's, a, Oli's always been a holding midfielder, but you know he's, he's, he's been out for a long time, he's worked extremely hard, great guy around the dressing room. But I feel as though he's got skill sets to that allow him to, to get into areas and positions to score goals. And people probably question why I did that last week when he played more as a 10, but he scored a goal, did it again today. So he's a very smart footballer, needs to get more match minutes into him. Um, you know, we've started the season well with our two sixes in Roman and, and Callum, new and off. So Oli, like I said, is, can play higher and he's shown again today why he was such a smart footballer. Back at home, um, in front of your, your home fans, how much do you think that played a part in, in the performance compared to the last few weeks when you guys haven't been able to play yet? Yeah, a little bit. It, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be a huge um, effect, but without doubt, a new pitch has been laid here. We trained here yesterday. The players, you can sense it. You know, the atmosphere was was different. You know, they, they love playing out here and, and being out here and amongst it. And it's always good to be back home. But, you know, we, we've put in good performances away from home as well. So that shouldn't matter. Our, our mentality has to be one where we, we're on all the time. Ten points in the, in the first five games here this season. Three wins and one draw with only that one loss to the Central Coast. How important is it for this kind of second half of the season here to kind of make this place a fortress where teams come and, you know, they're kind of sitting back, defending, and kind of worried about, about playing well. Yeah, every coach will tell you the same thing, that you know you, you try and, and you want to win all your home games. We're no different, albeit you know we generate a good atmosphere at home with our fans. So you know, I think uh, performances and results like today, we need to continue, and the effort was there as well. And... Um, we need to keep, and I keep saying this, grow this football club and the fan base and make them believe again. All right. Um, how's uh, Ninkovic's recovery coming along? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit slower than, than we thought. Um, weeks ago, he, he felt a little twinge and, and we've got to be right with him. He's such an important player. You've seen what, he, what he's done at the start of the season for us. Um, he aggravated it somewhat. You know, during the week. So again, we just got to be patient. You know, just take our time. He's, he's not far away, but I, I don't want to. He was very close to travelling last week to Brisbane. He and um, Cassini Yengi, but I decided not to do that. The travel factor and everything else. So yeah, Cassini pulled up well. He, he he trained really well, but like I said, you know, Milos felt something during the week, and it's nothing serious. But we've got a lot of games, and we need to wrap him up in cotton wool and make sure he's okay moving forward. All right. And could we expect to see any new signings over the January market? Um, yeah, we're, we're on the lookout. Um, we're very proactive, but irrespective of what window it is, we're always looking to improve our squad. And um, we've been trying to do that for the last couple of months. All right, no worries. And do you think that you'll be able to keep up the momentum in the next game against Perth Glory? Do you want to ask me or the players that question? Yeah, that's 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 obvious. That's obvious. You know, it's um, after a result like this, it's important that you know you win and you win in that manner and that fashion. 
um, the atmosphere changes, and that's and that's great. The you know, dressing room is is buzzing again, and um, like I said, I thought we deserved to win last week away from home against a, a difficult opponent. You know, we actually went out there and executed and took our chances, and there could have been a lot more today, as far as I was concerned. You know, they didn't have a shot on goal. You know, Lawrence Thomas didn't make a save. Philip Courtois made a lot, lot more saves. It could have easily been five or six today, and that's kind of what we're trying to to do moving forward. Okay. Yep. Happy New Year. Thank you.